Okay, so far we just looked at a very simple object interaction. It was a one-way interaction, and that meant that the buttons could communicate to the label object, but not vice versa. The label object had no way of affecting the buttons. So let's go a little bit further up the path with a two-way interaction, a simple two-way interaction. So we're going to go ahead and put a button on our canvas by dragging one in from the gallery here. And we're going to duplicate that button. On the first button, we're going to double-click it and we're going to change the text to say Apple and hit our enter key. Second button, we're going to double click it, change our text to say Orange and hit our enter key. Okay, so we've got that uh, contrasting text. Now I'm just going to select them actually and align them just for the sake of neatness to the page. Here we go. And what we're going to do is add actions to each one to affect the other. This is a two-way interaction. So on the first a uh, button here, I'm going to double click it, and in the Actions tab area, I'm going to select the Add Action button, and we're going to select from the pull-down menu the Button set of actions, and choose Button Set Text. Now in this case, we're going to leave the button object name to Button 1, that's itself, because we're actually going to put two actions on each button. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Apple in this area here, inside the quotes, make sure you have quotes, and press finish. I'm going to drag over this action here, I'm going to select from the, I'm going to right click and select from the right click menu, copy, and then I'm going to go to the next action line and press control V to paste it in. And I'm going to change the button 1 area here to say button 2. So you can see what I've done, basically we've added two actions to this button. One that's going to restore its own text to say Apple, and one that's going to set the text of the other button to say Apple. Okay, And I'm going to now click and drag over this whole kit and caboodle and right click and choose copy and I can now just paste it onto the orange button. Okay, So press OK and on the orange button, the button marked orange, we'll double click and in the actions tab we'll right click and select paste. Okay, And now all we have to do is change this little bit here that says Apple to say orange and we've created a contrasting action or a contrasting set of actions. Okay, now let's press OK and preview our project by pressing F5. Now you'll see that we have a two-way interaction set up because when we press this button, both buttons now become Apple. And when we press this button, both buttons now become orange. So each button is affecting each other. That's a two-way interaction. Now, you can interact this way between different types of objects as well. For example, a Flash movie can interact with a button both ways. It can send information to it and receive data from it. But in this particular case, I wanted to simplify the task by using two buttons, and I think that it uh, explains the concept a little clearer this way. So, we've created a two-way object interaction here between our buttons, and we'll move on to the next lesson here where we're actually going to tackle a little bit of advanced functionality and uh, do some advanced object interaction.